Going from east to west, the situation changes markedly. In Sweden, research on citizenship shows that young people are less interested in politics because democracy is a less recent phenomenon and it's taken for granted. But they're more concerned about social issues. Anton Abel is a 16-year-old young activist and debater who committed himself to work against street violence after the death of his friend, who was beaten to death at a party in the centre of Stockholm in October 2007. As Anton's very interested in IT, the platform for his anti-violence campaign was naturally the internet. When he realised the response to his call against violence was huge, he organised peaceful demonstrations. 10,000 people came. We've already lost a life, and that's too much. And the goal of the association Stop Street Violence that we started after the demonstrations on the 12th of October 2007 is that if we can manage to save one life, we have succeeded with our task. And this is what I'm hoping to do. And adults can come and explain to you that you should do this and you shouldn't do that. I think it gives a different effect when a youngster talks to another youngster. According to a study made by Stockholm South Emergency Ward published this July, the violence has turned rougher. The number of victims of kicking has increased from 7% in 1998 to 45% in 2005, the study says. One explanation is gang violence. The Council of Europe has a long experience of studying and promoting citizenship. The oldest European institution started some programmes in 1996. The emphasis now is much more on active citizenship, about not just having a passport or a document that says you're a citizen, but about giving you the knowledge, the understanding and skills to say you have a voice you can actually get things done and you can change things in your community. So in a school, it could be formally having a school council where young people have a say, but also recognising that you can discuss and debate things in your classroom. Anton Abel is a student at the French High School in Stockholm. Today he's taking the opportunity to debate about violence in the street with his schoolmates. <laughs> I don't think that there was less violence before, but then one tried to hide it. It was shameful. One didn't want to show it. Today it's getting more attention, more exposure, which is good. And to reduce it, I think that attention is good. You can see the consequences of it, like after what Anton did. When you know what it can lead to, you want to stop it. You don't want this. Det som Anton har gjort så att man vet vad det kan bli för konsekvenser och vill stoppa och inte vill att det ska finnas. Anton Abel has received various awards for his activism such as the MTV Peace Award last November and two major Swedish newspapers independently awarded Abel the Stockholm of the Year 2007 prize. It's a sign that a new generation will soon be active in deciding Europe's future.